Water is common property, a basis for existence. For this reason, it should be administered by the public. With the changeover to a single public water administrator in Paris, we will be able to save a minimum of approximately 30 million euros annually. A large portion of that would have been the operator's profit. Thereby, the complete generated profit will flow back into the supplying of water. That money will not be used for anything else. That's an important point. This way we can keep the price for water stable and still assure a high level of investment and service. Step by step we want to take back control over the water in Paris. This means the control returns to City Hall. We have established examination committees and have developed studies. Already in 2003 and 4, we renegotiated the contracts to reclaim the investment reserves from the operators. The chief executives of Veolia and Suez didn't take it too well, as we learned from the press. They labeled the recommunalization as a mistake. In this French newspaper, they stated the following on the topic. Coclio, the chief executive of Veolia, called the mayor of Paris and yelled furiously. Without the contract in Paris, Veolia wouldn't get any assignments abroad anymore. Over 200 years old and still functioning. It is uninteresting for a private operator to invest in a centuries-old structure. Their contracts are limited to 30 years, but investments within the area of water are only profitable after 30 to 60 years. That is why private investors refrain from investing any capital of their own into channels. It is simply not profitable. A public operator does not have these restraints. He can plan in decades and make long-term commitments to assure that the resource water is used sparsely and provided with optimal protection. The protection of larger bodies of water is a big challenge. This assures that the water doesn't have to be so heavily treated, which is costly, and thus will always be a remedial measure. Ecological protection makes more sense, of course.